Welcome everybody to some hare hunting here. We got two animals facing off against each other. There's also a hare in the battle arena as well. We're going to see which one can hunt down the hare first and come out on top. It looks like it's going to be the wolverine in round one. Oh, hang on. The attack dog is back up. This dude is tough. He's got a chain on and everything else like that. And he's trying to not get it snatched from his wolverine. But as you can see there, he's lunging out at the chain to try to take it and secure the win here. And also take down the rabbit or the hare, whatever you want to call them. I think hares are a little bit bigger than rabbits. Okay, look at this right here though. The attack dog is a little bit bigger than the wolverine, but he is still taken down by the smaller opponent. What a uh, underdog victory here for the wolverine. Who would have thunk it? The smaller dude uh, got the win there and was taken down uh, the rabbit as well. So congratulations. The dog didn't do much of nothing in this round. He didn't take down the rabbit. Didn't take down the wolverine. But, he, you know, he had some decent defense. He was able to, it looks like he played dead here and was able to get back up earlier, uh, kind of in the same manner. And then the uh, wolverine took down the rabbit. Now, so this is like a knockout round. So the wolverine knocked out the attack dog. Now we're bringing in another animal and seeing how far this wolverine can go. Can he go all the way? Can he... You know, you saw him take down the rat or the hare or whatever you want to call it, the Easter Bunny, in the god dang first round. Now he took him down in the second round, but will he be able to survive to get the uh, hare? Okay, the hare was taken down there. I wasn't really sure. As you can see here, he just kind of propped up there miraculously, but uh, the Wolverine's on a roll. He, he wasn't going to fight the wolf, but he took down the hare, so that means he advances on to the next round. Let's see if he can knock out the cougar. Okay, he's going for the cougar's jugular right there. Oh, gets a little uh, barrel roll off there. But the cougar is able to fight it off. Now the Wolverine once again takes down the hare. Again, this dude is a hare hunting machine. Now the cougar needs to really take down the Wolverine so he can get his victory. Even though the Wolverine took down the hare, if he wants to advance to the next round, he can do it right here by taking down the Wolverine. One, two, three. He's out of there. But look at this. You got to hand it to the Wolverine for sticking in as long as he did, taking down these hairs. But the cougar stole it from him right here. So he's going to be advancing to the next round. The cougar. Oh, man. He's got a big opponent here. He's going to go at the uh, rabbit early. Now, if they end up, uh, if there ends up being a draw between these two animals, if they don't decide to fight one another, if you take down that hair first, you're going to get the win, as you saw in the Wolverine versus the Wolf round. So uh, it's smart to go after the rabbit or uh, the hare first and, uh, you know, do it that way just in case these guys get, uh, you know, called out for not fighting each other. But as you can see here, the cougar has taken the attack and they are uh, going at one another. It looks like the bear is not going to win this one. The cougar has taken down the bear. But he's got to, you know, he's got to survive. We got explosives in the battle arena as well. So if he takes himself out, this bear, if he would have taken out the rabbit, he could have, you know, he, he could have still got the victory. So anything can happen here. But the cougar has advanced. He took down the bear, took down the rabbit as well to end the round. Look at this. He just kind of looked like he almost got him by the ear and ends up up underneath around the neck. A very vulnerable position for the bear to be in. And the bear is taken down uh, pretty quickly there. Wasn't able to use his paws. The bear has got them big claws and big paws. If he could have just swatted the cat away, like, uh, you know, with, with one of those big... Okay, look at the cat showing his rear to the grizzly bear. A very uh, not smart move there by the cougar. But as you can see, once again, he get... Oh, oh, my God, that is what I'm talking about. The bear has got a counter there. Use them big old paws and use that strength to get that little cat up off you. Now he's taking down the hare as well. Look at this. So the cougar takes the early pounce. He gets them around the ear. The bear is able to shake it off real quick. This grizzly bear is a little bit bigger than the American black bear. He's able to do it here. Takes down the hare with a uh, couple of those paws there. Raining down on the little hare. And now we have a big blood dragon in here going after the hare first. Let's see, can he beat the bear to it? The bear is also going after the rabbit, it looks like. 
Okay, he's right on his hair tail there. All right, he's trying to get him uh, by the hair of the uh, the tail there, maybe. But uh, looks like uh, the blood dragon also is. Uh, he was charging up that uh, laser shot and also using that tail as a tail whip. He's got the back kick and everything. It looks like it connected with the hair. Oh, now he's stepping on him. That's not good. Oh man, the grizzly bear took that laser like a champ. He's doing circles around the blood dragon. He's going to try another one. The Blood Dragon takes down the Grizzly Bear with that one. But he's back up. Miraculous move there by the bear to get back up on his feet. And he's going to have to make an attack or get this Blood Dragon. Use his size against him to maybe blow himself up with these explosive barrels here. Okay, the bear is not down. He's shaking off another laser blast by the Blood Dragon. Is the blood dragon gonna, you know, try something else? Is he gonna try to use them claws or that tail on this dude? These lasers aren't working right now. That one, again, he's back up. What is the blood dragon gonna do? So he's, all right, he's roaring at the bear. The bear's getting awfully close to them barrels as well. He needs to watch out there and try to use those to blow the blood dragon up. Don't blow yourself up there, buddy. Now, uh, okay, he was close enough to get a swipe from the Blood Dragon, but he's going to, oh, he's going to blow him up there. The Blood Dragon used his laser blast to hit the explosive barrel and then blow up the bear who was close enough to it. Hey, where there's a will, there's a way. That's how you do it right there. Smart maneuver by the Blood Dragon to take out the grizzly bear. Miraculous moves there. Now we have the Yeti in here against the Blood Dragon, and this little hair does not stand a chance. Who's going to take him down, though? Is it going to be the Yeti or the Blood Dragon? Let's find out. I don't think these two are going to fight each other, so it's going to go to the Blood Dragon. He was able to take down the hair first. His Yeti's just all confused. He's trying to get up out of here. They're not going to fight. They like their space. They, I think they're smart. They know that they're too big for this ring here. And there's too many explosives in here. They don't want to blow each other up or themselves up. So uh, we have the queen alien in here gets the hair. Now, can she get the blood dragon? We're going to find out. A swipe right there to the big old blood dragon. This blood dragon was about to attack but was not able to do it. A swipe was returned by the queen alien to take him down. So the queen alien gets that round, comes in in the end, and takes down the hair. So, uh, congratulations to all the winners. Check out the replays there. The Blood Dragon was about to go for the Queen, but she didn't let it happen. Quick moves, good defense. Let's see what other uh, replays we had here. Let's take a look back. It, first, we had the Wolverine taken down the attack dog. He did a good job of fighting off the Wolverine. However, he's not able to keep the Wolverine off. The Wolverine went back at him. Got the uh, hair taken down as well. And then the Wolverine just went on a roll after that. Was able to beat the wolf to it. They didn't want to fight each other. But uh, the Wolverine advanced on to the next round because he got the hair. Kept it going, but the, uh, the Cougar ended his reign there. This Wolverine is tough, though. The Cougar moved on. The cougar, how did he do against the bear? He took down the bear, didn't he? and was able to take down the rabbit as well. The bear had them paws around the cougar, but was not able to get anything going as he tried to He tried to do there. But he was already in so much pain, I think the cougar just really got to him quick, got to him first and was able to take him down. And then the uh, uh, nice pounce there by the cougar to get the rabbit, and then the bigger grizzly bear. You see the cougar tried the same thing on the grizzly bear but it was not able to pull it off this time. Gets shook down by the grizzly bear, and he moves on to the next round. The animals are getting bigger and bigger, and this uh, grizzly bear man had his work cut out for him. All right, this blood dragon's a lot bigger than him. Almost got a little back kick there, but that connected with the hair, and then what an explosive finish here by the blood dragon. It's take down the grizzly bear with the uh, laser blast to the explosive finally making use of these explosives out here and then these two uh, they were you know really trying to avoid fighting each other avoid the explosions but the hair was taken down by the blood dragon and that left 
the Queen and the Blood Dragon. A uh, pretty even match up there, although the Blood Dragon did not connect too many times, if any at all, with the Queen Alien. But the size uh, difference was slim. So there you have it. The uh, hair, I mean, hey, let's hand it to the hair as well for outmaneuvering these guys for as long as uh, they did. But uh, anyway, that's how the Easter egg crumbles, Aaron. Until next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over now.